think Terrain Sim World's free. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes here. Got my man, Van Hooligan, Tyler Weston chat. <laughs> you know, it's funny, yeah. Uh, when, uh, Hi, Freddy. When uh, the Rough Riders uh, beat the Jokers in the playing game, I tagged Van and said, congrats on qualifying, we're gonna kick your ass. <laughs> and now they're about to eliminate us. <laughs> so funny. So funny. <laughs> I hope we win, but regardless of what happens, that will be known as a great trash talk. Um... We got our, our Rough Riders roster first. Uh, they changed this in the middle of the series, and it's been working pretty well for them thus far. As they've picked up uh, two wins in a row off of it. Uh, Jose43 is going first. Then Tallywack at second. Deacon Dickens third. Bear Hat Man fourth. Uh, Strawberry fifth. Um, Anthony sixth. I'm kind of blanking on his first name. I think it's Deacon or Devin. Seventh is uh, I am Snowball. Uh, eighth is Pina, and the ninth is uh, the starting pitcher, the Bloopington. That's our. Uh... I'm dealing with a migraine myself. Think of the children. Big shot. All right, <laughs> Rippers up next. Uh, their roster. Starting with Charlie Bubblegum, Benny Rodriguez, uh, Yo Mudda, Schwarbombs, 5th is Meals Wheels, 6th is East and West, then the 7, 8, 9 who have been oh so struggle this series as Lilium Rosario, Rink Dog, and Phil Ick. <sighs> Pretty good lineup, you know, uh, both teams. Hmm. Both teams uh, pretty good on paper, you know. Rough Riders, uh, you know, kind of slowly edging these ones out, but, you know, two very good clubs. These next one or two games will decide possibly the outcome of their season. Atlanta Rippers facing elimination at home. I think they're at home. The league's number one seed will be pitching first. Rough Riders up to bat, starting off with Jose 43. He's had a pretty good series. Um, though I don't really think either either batting squad has exactly been crushing it out here. And Jose 43 gets nice contact, but that's an out. So 2 out count, gets the swing. Ball one. Ick having some trouble finding the zone thus far. A uh, big strike there. Up one, two. And oh, they ruled that one a K. Surprised they uh, ruled that a strike, but that's out number two. Deacon Nickens up next. Right fielder. He's batting third. 
having a pretty bad series in particular. Has gone 0 of 4 at least three times. Up 3-1 here though, looking for the walk. Fouls that one off, full count now. And takes that one looking. So uh, two strikeouts, two backwards Ks though. A series is 3-2 Rough Riders. We will be playing, um, if the Rippers win today, we will be winning, playing uh, game number seven as well. All right, <clears throat> Lip Lukington up. He has been absolutely clutching bases our runners on situations, so though right now he's struggling against Bubblegum. There's a 3 1 count after failing that one off. And Bubblegum is going to hit that to the exact same place Jose 43 did, but unlike uh, Mr. Jose, he got that one on the ground in time. Benny Rodriguez up next. Hey, what's up there, Mr. Biscuit Basher? Might still be getting his mic set up as that's a. Uh, what's up? Can you hear me? There. Yeah, what's up? You uh, you want to take play yeah. or you want color? I can't hear anything. Okay, he disappeared. You're going to foul that one off. <laughs> one, two count here. And takes that one looking. Wow. So uh, both pitchers getting lots of backwards Ks thus far. Three in this game already. Dixon up next. Double play in effect. And, oh, that's a steal attempt. And that one's going to drop. Uh, they are going to get runners. Oh, he's heading home. And just safe the hit and run to perfection. As the Rippers take a huge early lead, 1-0. Wow, All right, let's try this again. Can you hear me? Yeah, you good? <laughs> Sweet. They're sending another runner home. And he's safe. Rippers take a 2-0 lead quickly. Hey there, Biscuit. You working? What's going on? Hey. Um, yeah, I guess I'm working now. The uh, all the hearing and the mic is back to normal. Man, oh, another hit. Is... Yeah, crazy momentum thus far. Uh, you want uh, play by play or color? I'll take color. You're doing great. All right, thanks. I like to think I am. Bloopington is tense now with east and west up. Runners on corners double play would end this inning. Two balls already. Oh. Wild pitch there, and going to steal second. Well, it's not really a steal, so that disables the double play. East and West has a 2-2 count, pitcher's favor. 3-2, full count. And that one is going to go... Uh, I don't think they're going to send the runner. No, so that's out number two. It's not quite far enough. Yeah, it was, it was in the range, but yeah, just a bit too shallow. Rosario up next. Uh, the six, seven, eight have really struggled this series, but they're off to a hot, hot, to a hot start already. So if Rosario can break the streak now, it wouldn't be that surprising. Up three zero. Are we going to get a block? Three one. Oh, Rosario! Whoa! Whoa. One. Doesn't have a chance. It's going. It's at the warning track, and it is gone. <laughs> Lillian Lil Rosario makes this a 5-0 ball game for the Rippers. What a monster shot to left center that was. <laughs> and for Atlanta to keep this series alive, boy, their chance of victory even after one inning. Looking pretty solid. Yeah, Bloopington already rattled. I mean, this is about as good as a start as you could ask for. And strikes out swinging. Hey, Freddy, how about that? Did I scream enough yet? Five <laughs> runs in the bottom of the first. That is got to yeah, rattle your starter crazy. there. <laughs> uh, Bear Hat Man is up to bat. Ick is locked in because he got those two backwards Ks. But uh, right now, down in the count, one, two. And that is going to be a hit for Bear Hat Man. Looks like that might be a double or more. All right, he's going to get to two. He's going for it. Oh, he is. Oh, I <laughs> I looked away because I was like, oh, there's no chance he'll go for third. No, he gets the Watt leadoff triple. That's a fantastic start. Yeah, I mean, and the throw wasn't even really close. I mean, 
Yeah, no, a bear no, bat that was very quick. Yep. Uh, that does set up the zero outs uh, sacrifice here. And, oh, yikes. That one about as bad of, of a swing as you can uh, imagine. Devin Anthony yeah. next. Got to be disappointed if you're a Dallas fan there, but they still have another chance. Only one out. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. We'll see what they can do here with uh, Devin Anthony up next, whose name I apologize for forgetting. 3-1 count. Good chance for a walk. And, oh, stone cold take there, but it's a strike. And straight past the pitcher. That's going to drive in a run. Rough Riders uh, cut into this a little bit, make it 5-1 now. Dallas uh, answering the... right back. Yeah, real quick. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> you get a leadoff triple. That's going to put a lot of energy into the bats. Certainly. Oh. Snowball uh, up next. Uh, in a more optimistic note for the Rippers, double play in effect, but it's going to need to find the zone first. You know, uh, all right, there's a 2-2 two -two count. Let's see what he gets here. Fastball. And that one is going to be an easy out. Oh, no. All right. It hit the, uh, the shield a bit there. And ooh, another ooh. foul ball. That was almost an RBI. 3-2. Let's see it. Take your base. And pitch is called ball. Runners on first and second now. Pina up next. Thankfully for the Rippers, eight and nine up next, which means weakest batters in the order. However, they still need to capitalize. I mean, one out, still a lot of damage that can be done here. Two foul balls. Oh, now yeah. Look. Oh, filthy. Nice pitch. <laughs> Now you have uh, Bloopington, who is no longer rattled, only tense. A hit here would be miraculous, but it would also put them... Oh! <laughs> well, it doesn't matter what it put them at as he goes out swinging. So uh, it gives up a run there and two walks, so looks pretty dangerous, but instead he does shut them down. They do get uh, within four runs of taking the lead back, though. Now with it up to bat, it's a tense lip Bloopington who has two strikeouts, but also five earned runs and five hits. Swing and a miss there. <laughs> Not a bad nice hit. pitch. Yep. <laughs> that one. Right uh, Bubblegum up next. It's gonna be a while before Bloopington is intense. Oh, what a grab. Nice catch. Oh, Bear Hat Man, undeniably, um, who I consider one of the faces of the league. Uh, what a monster. Oh, no question. Fielding and batting. That was a great grab. Oh, not going to grab that one, though. That's hit number six for the Rippers tonight. You know, it's funny. Uh, Bear Hat Man had not made that stop there. They might be up 6-1 right now. That one is at least going to be a double. Nixon up next, so they have run the cycle in uh, two innings, which is, uh, in case you're a young aspiring pitcher, I will tell you that means not good. <laughs> Pick off attempt there, he's safe. Nixon uh, has a double and an RBI, and it has a 2-2 two -two count. And that one is going to be the third out of this inning, so... Uh, Nice shot by Bloopington, gives up a hit, but gets a much better second inning there than the first. Although, uh, you know, giving up five runs in the first, it's hard to not have a better second inning. <laughs> yeah, but anytime you could put up a zero, you had a good inning, so. <laughs> I mean, uh, the fact that he's, I, he might even work his way back to not tense, as that's going to be a pop out in foul territory. He's catching he is. Kelly Wack up next, so the uh, Rough Riders have also worked their way around the order in two innings, although with much less runs on their end. One run count. Kelly Wack, oh, one today. That strikeout looking. 2 2. And definitely got a hit there, as that's going to be a long single. Sets up the double play and gets that runner on first. Deacon Nickens up next. He also struck out looking. So if I'm Ick here, I actually want contact to try to force that double play. Pitch count's already pretty high. 
Fouls that one off. Down 0-2. It's going to be tough to get back into this one. And doesn't do so. Another strikeout for Deacon Nickens, who really continues the playoff struggles. Yeah, that was a that was a rough at bat for him. It's like three pitches, and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Sits him down. Yeah, just looked uh, totally lost out there. And it's interesting to see, you know, who gets hot and cold during playoffs because Nickens is a great batter, right? Like, no one's doubting that, but the amount of oh, times he's got 0-4 for this series is, like, so strange considering how good of a player he is. Just looks a shutout for an inning. Yeah, I mean, everybody, and you're exactly right. It just seems like anybody who was hot or who was cold, it's like the script flips once it's oh, playoff it totally time. Totally resets, yep. Uh, Loopington looking to reset his start, but down 3-0 against Schwerbombs. Generous strike call there, but we'll take it. And already a 3-2 count now. Oh, big swing and a miss. Nice uh, pitch control there. Neil's wheels up next. I think that's going to knock him back into... No, he's still tense. Wow. That third strike was a nice pitch, but that you're right. Amazing. He got a little yeah. help. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be a ground out. So Ripper's uh, getting cold, but, you know, five runs in the first. That makes up for a few innings. I'm just interested on, I think Bloomington's going to get out of tents here, have a pretty good rest of the start. We'll see, though. He is at a, oh, that's going to be another hit right in between his legs. That was like the slowest midfield hit I've ever seen. I don't know how it dribbled that long. <laughs> Yeah, he's given up something every inning so far, so <laughs> yep. he's got to lock it down just a little bit more. Sure, yeah, but uh, I mean, you know, it's it's been an last inning was shut out, uh, so that True. was certainly improvement. Rosario, who really blowed the door open, uh, has a 3-1 count. And yeah, that one's... run stopping. homer. <laughs> that in the one's first. not as deep as the last one. So that'll be out number three. Uh, Ripper's going to hit there, but nothing else. So third inning shutout for both teams. They will show Strawberry up next. Ben said, Benji, I have bad news for you, Ben. <laughs> oh, mm. interesting uh, line out there. I guess you'd call that a line out. Evan Anthony up next, going against locked in specialist Phil Ick. Ooh, big swing and a miss. It got 57 pitches, making 58. So he's going to start getting fatigued here. Up 1-2, though. Ooh, Ooh, close call. Nice take, yeah. Let's see if they make the play. It's going to be a close one, but they do get out number two. And now Snowball up next. Uh, he got a walk. That was the inning that really started the danger of the Rough Riders climbing back. Ick was able to pull him down a little bit, but uh, a walk on here with two outs would really increase their odds of making the comeback. That looks and solid. Do better than a walk. That one's going deep. That's going to be a double. Fantastic hitting there. Snowball having a great day walking a hit. All right. Very nice piece of hitting. Yep. Now here's the, here's the kicker where you're the Rough Riders. You're ready to make the comeback, but you have uh, Pina up and then your pitcher, so. We'll see what they can get here, but not looking too great going against Specialist with a B-minus player. The stranger things have happened to that bats. 2-2 two -two count. Oh, it takes that one looking. Ooh. Nasty. That would have fooled anybody, though. Nice pitch. Oh, that was great. The curve on that was... Or the drop, rather. That was filthy. Mm-hmm. All right, eight, nine, one up for the Rippers. Loopington still tense at 61 pitches. Ooh, just missed. Oh, yeah. Maybe a foul by Rink Dog. Just goes foul. Down one, two, expecting a strikeout here, and yep, he gets it, takes that one Got him. Yep, uh, pitcher up next. I like how Phil Ick has doubled the speed of any other stat. <laughs> What a pitcher. <laughs> it's going to be a foul there. They aren't able to track it down. Now, if you're Ick here, 
as Bloomington has gone back to neutral, so congrats to him. And gets another strike out there. He might even get locked in after that atrocious first. I'd be very interested to... Oh, no, they pulled him right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was... I'm Okay, they pulled him. It's interesting to let him crawl back from, like, the first inning, and then right as he's really starting to get back into it. Right. A different pitcher, but. Yeah, I just... I agree. I mean, his pitch count was getting up, but yeah, still, I mean, it's just it's, like, it's ah, he battled back. Personnel. Yeah. <laughs> um, as the Ripper at bat there, I got a single with two outs. Uh, Johnny Digshot in next. Benny Rodriguez is up. One, two count. A-man active. Oh, ball two. And that is going to be an out number three. So uh, another set of scoreless innings there, three, four. If you're the Rippers, you're content to play this game with a four-run advantage. As Olaf is up next to pinch hit. Uh, Ick hoping to get a quick strikeout to start this inning. He is at six Ks this game, half of which... Pretty damn good. Yeah, that's he's that guy. Uh, <laughs> half of which, oh, make it seven, filthy. Was he forty-three up next? He's zero for two. Nick is locked in, but oh, that's oh nice. Yeah, Jose forty-three saw a pitch he liked and crushes that one. That's going to be a double with one out. So no double play in effect. Runner on second. Now batting. The uh, Tallywhack up next. He's one for two with a single. If he gets another one, it will likely drive that runner in. Uh, Ick starting to get fatigued. Don't think he'll go past the fifth. Uh, honestly, if I'm the bullpen arm, I'd look at pulling him now. As, uh -oh. oh, they're actually going to trap a 43 in the box. And... <laughs> This got him in a rundown. I got him. There we go. <laughs> There's out number two. So, uh, Phil Lick actually makes yeah. the tag there. <laughs> That's funny. Great job mm -hmm. on the pitcher covering. That was, uh, I didn't see who got that ball originally, but that was very savvy defense. But it was, uh, uh Rosario. It was the shortstop. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And, um, yeah, yeah it's just, I don't know why you're running there with only one out, but yep. it's just. It's just unfortunately bad base running for the Dallas Rough Riders. Yes. Uh, AI surprising me here by pulling a pitcher pretty early, putting Freddie Helium in at the fifth. Uh, they have runners on first and second and need one out. And, oh, boy, that was a take. One-two count here. And that one looks like it's going to be out number three. Rosario barely makes that play. That was closer than Rutgers fans. Difficult hope. play. Yeah, that was that was like perfectly slotted. If by luck or skill, we don't really know, but <laughs> Dick Shot is pitching. And that's gonna be a quick out one. Not bad contact, just uh, bad timing. Shore bombs up next. One for two. The league's leader in RBIs this year has a single RBI in this game. And a double as well. All right, 3-0 count. That was a generous ball call, by the way. But And uh, that's going to be a foul ball. 3-1, composed, active. Oh, he crushed that one. All right, composed and K-man active here. And that's going to be a quick ground out. He does not have the speed to beat that out, so that's out too. Meals wheels up next. Ball one. Ooh, ball two. Ball three. You don't see Johnny Dickshot make a bad fastball pitch like that very often. Yeah, that was totally out of control. But now K-Man and Composed Active, you know. The most brutal pitcher combo in this league. Mm-hmm. A foul. And yet another, much like the Bee Gees, staying alive. Eight pitch at bat here. Make it nine. <laughs> Finally, it a good this run. is the battle. <laughs> but, man, I think you're okay with that at bat. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This is a nice effort by Meals Wheels there. Definitely. And, you know, I, if, you're, if you're the Rough Rider, or if you're the Rippers, 
you're just trying to get that pitcher pulled as soon as possible. I mean, he's so good that you're just playing the fatigue game. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of, Freddie Helium in, who is a selfish bastard that didn't spend his points before uh, playoffs. Uh, and who knows, maybe you would have prevented the hit there, you jerk. That's going to be a single. <laughs> Double play in effect as Devin Anthony is up. He has the lone RBI for the Rough Riders this game, making a look at number two. It just said making to look at. Looking to make it number two. One one count. Ooh. Low pitch there. And wow. Oh. The pitcher himself is going to turn the double play. Great fielding. Snowball up next. One for one with that double and a walk. I can't believe the pitcher just got the double play. Yeah, it was a nice play. <laughs> Freddie Helium can do it all. Yeah, I mean, that really could not have been slotted any better there. <laughs> um, that's a, another foul off, so four pitches, but down 0 2. Make it 1 2. Ooh, big swing and a miss. That's out number three. Freddy's going to get locked in, honestly, maybe next inning if he gets a double play and a strikeout. Here at the bottom of the sixth, east and west up. Uh. Rippers, you know, cooled down a lot after that first inning, but as was said, if you get five runs in a playoff game, you're usually off the hook anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, you're usually very happy. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think five is... That was definitely the highest scoring inning of this playoff series. Like, um, that's a ground out for our number one. Rosario up next. Last that bat for her was a pop out in left field. Uh, Johnny's starting to get fatigued here. I think he's got about maybe the rest of this inning, and I'm assuming uh, two outs pretty quickly. If I remember yeah. right, the New York Empire lost a game with 11 runs this year. I think we lost like 11 to 14 or something. I mean, it was <laughs> just we just couldn't figure it That's out. Rough. <laughs> so it's like we're talking about five innings or five <laughs> runs rather, and I'm like, well, <laughs> That's really funny. No, I, yeah. um, I mean. Last year's Rippers were like that too. We yeah. we would have games that we won by one twelve to ten and lost twelve to ten. You know. Right, right. It's tough, and uh, that's going to be another ground out there. So quick inning. Uh, the Rough Riders pitcher, whose name I am unfortunately blanking on, is locked in. So that has been one, two, three. Four, Johnny Dickshot. The last time I remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, Johnny. Yep. He's in now. Actually. Oh, they're going to pull him. I right think after I like a that decision with him locked in, but they got to get some runs though, and it's yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, I think the problem is that your pinch hitters, and reasonably so, are usually your best batters on the roster besides the pitchers themselves. And look at him proving me wrong as he gets a walk. Right <laughs> now, Olaf up. Maybe uh, Freddy's just being big brain and yeah, just setting turn, up a double play. Turns out, turns out the manager made a good call there. <laughs> I sincerely apologize to the to the Rough Riders uh, pitching coach. Um, I will send you a deeply sincere letter. Uh, two two count here. Ooh, Freddy, almost based it. Yeah. Oh. I'd like to see Freddy attack a little more here against the worst batters in the roster. And he does so, and Wow. Double play defense cost them there. That's funny. Mm hmm. Yep. Now Jose 43 and the up. First baseman probably holding the runner at first probably cost him that hit also. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Jose 43 has a chance to do a lot of damage here. Up 2 0. Freddie Helium. Not looking too good. That's going to help a lot. That is an out for number one. It's a double play, ends this inning, but Rough Riders still a lot of potential to do damage. Yeah, the Rough Riders are really threatening here, and Atlanta really liked that out. It, yeah, that getting was Getting any huge sort of out. Yep. fly out in the foul territory is big. Alleywack up next. That one's going to go just foul. Freddy's starting to get real fatigued. They ought to pull him after this batter, but they won't. Nice strikeout. Wow, surprised he was able to get that movement with being so fatigued. He can nick himself to bat. They do pull him. Wow, I, I feel like the AI whisperer 
<gasps> we have Benji Carlson in. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the goat Benji. Uh, Rink Dog's tense because he's 0 for 3. That's why they put him in there. But I just love my boy Benji. Deacon Nickens, 1 for 3. Will he do it in? But down 3 1 and gives the walk. So that's going to load bases with two outs. And Bear Hat Man, oh boy. This is the very last person you want. With two oh, you're not kidding. You're not uh, kidding. Two outs. And oh, if you're a really Dallas fan, this is your moment. I know it's a famous I know it's a famous moment where they walk Barry Bonds intentionally with bases mm -hmm. loaded. I'm not too oh opposed gosh. to that Full strategy count. right now. K Man active. Let's see the outcome and Ooh. Oh he popped out! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what uh. did he just at that? <laughs> well how disappointing of a finish was that? Yeah, to get bases loaded on the walk, and then the, the well, and you call, didn't and, even need to move. And it wasn't intentional, but you called it. That was going to be a walk. That was a high fastball for... Yes, yeah, and I, I don't mind that decision at all. Like, I genuinely, I... Also, they put in Chevy Williams. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so instead of two outs, five to two, it's now the end of the inning. Yeah, five one still. That's tough. Mm -hmm. Benji, uh, up to battle here. And, oh, he takes that one looking. Maybe a bit too much uh, batting rust there after spending a lot of the season on the bench. Now you have your one and your two up, though, against Chevy. So the chance for an inning here, although Charlie Bubble going down, though, too. It's my stream buffers. That's a foul ball. Nice take, one, two. Ooh, another good take. Ooh, two, two. Oh! Got a bit too patient there, and he strikes out looking Benny Rodriguez up next. No three grand slams in three games for Pabst. I think he's had enough grand slams. <laughs> Benny Rodriguez up 2-1. 3-1. And Benny Rodriguez gets the walk. Dixon up next. This is, uh, I mean, we'll see when fatigue starts kicking in for Chevy. But this might be a dangerous situation here, especially if Dixon gets on. The ball there. Yep. Yeah, Slider's if he gets on, I agree. Going down and, oh! Jose 43 odds to make can't that make catch. <clears throat> That's brutal. Now you have Schwarbums on with RBI man. Runners on first and second still only need one out. This is definitely still clutchable for the Rough Riders. You have to think a, a deep hit here would make this lead almost untouchable. Let's see. Up 3-1. Williams starting to get fatigued. And that's going to be a, a hit. They're going to send the runner home. And they take another run. Four insurance with Meals. Meals up next. Contact versus right up. And Williams starting to get fatigued. Oh, but that one's going <laughs> to... I got excited there, but that's just going to be a line out. Either way, uh, Rippers had another run. Leading my five here. It was a good swing. You could hear the contact. Yep. Just didn't have the power. <laughs> you hate to see it. You really do. <laughs> Errol Strawberry up to bat. Will he do it? Has pitched one inning. Gave up that walk. Now, oh. not not pinch hitting there. Did I say pinch it? Is that what I said? Oh, that was Strawberry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm confused that... like you. That's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's out. my bad. No, that's totally okay. my bad. <laughs> so that's going to be a ground out. Man, Rosario has an arm out there. I oh, think, yeah. Um, She's honestly, a fantastic short a batter, Pretty, Pretty weak compared to a lot of the Rippers roster, but, boy, she makes plays in the outfield that I do not expect to happen. As speaking of plays, that's that one's well. but on the merry track. <laughs> Quick eighth inning. So uh, Rippers up. Rough Riders only have one inning left. If they want to end the series here, but then they'll also have game seven. They're keeping Chevy in. 
I don't know why you're doing that, game. <laughs> well, well, I guess there's why. So that's a pop. Losing out. Yeah, I think just um, you know, a, a lot of games in Big Head are decided by which AI manager is feeling less stupid today. I yeah. <laughs> and the Ripper's AI manager disagree. has had the clear edge with relief. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, so that's a 2-1 count. 2-2. Two, two. Chevy looking to get back into it. And not going to do so. Lilium gets her second hit of the game. So what's the call? Is he coming out? Got to pull. Got to pull. No way. Oh, well, let's see who's pulling out. Yep, Chevy's out. Yeah. Let's see if Will He Do It's out. Uh, no, because they got a five-run lead. True. <laughs> He's laying the butt. Yep. <laughs> But why don't you just put Molecular in to start with, you know? Like, maybe this is still a four-run lead if you just don't do... Johnny Dickshot's a good pick. Yeah. He, he did great. Walk. No, I meant, uh, who was the person to put in after Johnny? Chevy Williams. Yeah. What a bunt, by the way. Yeah, yeah it's great. Know why you don't put in Chungus before Williams. Benji Carlson is up. The Icelandic hammer. <laughs> and he hammers his way into a ground out. <laughs> well, zero runs again. <laughs> yep, just another scoreless ending there. All right. They're obviously going to pinch hit for Chungus. Not a great time to be on your 8-9-1, that's for certain, but... You know, you're going to need base runners anyway, so let's see what happens here. Like, will he do it in? And the, and the Rough Riders have three outs to make this a six-game series. And if not, it'll go to seven. Three, two. Oh! Uh, interesting You call. know what they say. Lead-off walks lead to yeah. lead-off runs. <laughs> I mean, that was exactly what you were hoping from your pinch hitter there. As Olaf is in. Yeah, get on base. That's exactly what yeah. you want. Down 0 2, K Man active. Let's see if he do it, can do some damage. And does so. Takes that one looking. Three pitch K. Yeah, that Just was Just what sufficient. Atlanta needed. <laughs> All right. Jose 43 is one of four with that uh, double earlier. Which came. Oh, that one looks like it's going to be out number two. Minus a absolute fiasco, and they turn it. Chore bombs gets out number two. Rippers have uh, one out away from sending us to game seven. Tallywack up the bat. Ball one. Will he do it? Is locked in. Well, the that two semifinals. It's looking like one's going to go the distance, and the other ends in a sweep. <laughs> <laughs> man, Pretty rare. Turkey series. Oh man. I know. I, I love the people in that org, and it makes me sad to see. Well, they're well, at least gonna get one more batter here. For sure. So that one goes straight past the pitcher. Deacon Nickens in. Boy, this would be a redeeming moment. He struggled all series, but well, he has a single and a walk. I mean, that's a good game. Two times on base. I really have no dog in this fight, obviously. And I also don't want to necessarily jinx it for the Rippers if they uh, <laughs> deserve to win this it. game. <laughs> we'll see if... I don't know. I, I would rather they pulled he do it in by now. But... Oh, it doesn't matter. Adam. Will he do it? Yes, he does. Gets the strikeout looking, and the Rippers take us to Game 7 off of a monstrous first inning. Mm -hmm. batting and attack. a three-run shot by yeah. Lillian Rosario. And Ripper's hoping to uh, carry that momentum of the 7-8 hitting well into game seven here. As we look at our batters, Swarbombs had two RBIs. Yomada had that one uh, in like the seventh inning. And then Rosario, of course, had the hit of the day, a three-run shot that made me scream so loud. I think I concerned my parents. Uh, Deacon Nickens gets a hit and a walk, but also three strikeouts. And the only RBI for the Rough Riders today is Mr. Anthony. Look at how many of the uh, starters on Dallas got hits, though. Like, yeah, no, I seven, mean, it was, it was really of... bad situational. Yeah, you're exactly right. It's like they were getting hits almost every single inning. They just couldn't turn that into runs. Yeah, and Pretty more wild. walks than the Rippers. Four walks. 
Yeah. Yeah. So they got on base more. <laughs> they did, yes. More than Atlanta. Yep. Just couldn't, like say, couldn't turn it into runs, and it cost it's them the game. To, it's funny to see that this series, though, because that's oh, been yeah. this kind of series, right? I mean, so yeah, many no games doubt. where the guys left on base are the huge deciders. Um, Limp Lubington gets the loss, unfortunately. He gets real rounded in the first. Actually does pretty good outside of that, but not well enough. Uh, Dick Shot, Williams, and Chungus all had pretty good appearances besides Williams. As for the Rippers, Ick gets a no decision. Freddie Helium gets the playoff win. Congrats, Freddie. And Will He Do It gets the save. As I think we're going to go straight into game two. I believe so. I think uh, uh, there's going to be a lineup shuffle and obviously pitching pitching what have you sure but yeah Lilian Rosario Jack Schwarbombs and Phil Ick are your players of the game deservedly uh, yeah. so Lilian two for four with a home run three RBIs two RBIs a double and two for four for Jack Schwarbombs and Phil Ick only one earned run in his four and two-thirds innings pitched start and seven strikeouts all right uh, you are going to uh, take the wheel while I allow my sinuses to recover, so I will see you. Oh, my God. Minutes. You and me both, brother. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, Cedar Point on vacation, and someone in the group was sick, obviously, because now we're all sick. But ah. <laughs> Like we're catching it over Twitch. <laughs> That'd be quite a virus. <laughs> Boy, no kidding. COVID can travel through the internet. All right, I am good. Let's see what the hell they're doing here. I mean, they shot a reliever. Okay. Congrats to the Weasel Slayer for winning the Battle Royale. All right. We're going to be uh, in, in Atlanta Stadium for Game 7, I believe. I believe that's right. Yeah. Yep. Bing double. Bing All right. For the Rough Riders, uh, most of their changes came from the pitching end, but it's worth noting that their starting pitcher today is Dutch Armstrong. Uh, they have a absurdly good first two starting pitchers um so armstrong hoping to push them to the win we got any uh changes here or are we good i think there's a change in the order but not of the personnel if i remember right i'm not seeing anything but i feel like i saw a batting fourth before <clears throat> yeah i think he was i i feel like it had something to do with yeah, I don't. Someone I don't remember. Changed who their relievers were, but I didn't see any order. So Let me see if I can pull up the lineups for yeah. <laughs> game six. Sure. Oh no, that's Atlanta. That was you, or yeah. somebody. Yeah, Rivers just changed a bunch of stuff. I think the Rough Riders only changed their pitchers. Oh, he's moving it now. Okay. 
They oh. put a snowball at third, and Nikon Nikon's at fifth. Anthony yeah. at sixth. What are they? Got to change it up. Got to change it up. It yeah, seems like every I mean, every that's time an the interesting change. Yeah, it seems like every time we made a lineup change, it's like we always did better the next game. I don't mm. know why, but it made no sense, and there's no. I don't think there's any reason to support. I don't know. There's no scientific proof that that is real, but um, why would there be? Boris is a good move because I think he can capitalize. Yeah, I mean that's an interesting roster. Uh, now the Rippers changed a lot. They're starting with Bubblegum, then Wheels, then West, Chore Bombs, Yomana, Rodriguez, and then uh, Seven Eight Nine. Starting pitchers Freddy, then uh, Rodriguez, L Rosario, and Rink Dog. Rink Dog. I love that name. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's super weird, but I like it. And Freddy Elium gets the, the start. Guy. The guy. <laughs> Best pitcher, maybe, of season six. For sure, in the running for Cy Young. Yep. And here we go. The second half of the back-to-back. -back. Game seven between the hosts Atlanta Rippers against your Dallas Rough Riders. I don't know if I'd call them mine. Uh -huh. I'm deeply hoping that they lose. No offense, right? <laughs> no. Uh, I, I'm, I'm on the Empire. I don't you know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like I say, I have, I have no, uh, no dog in this fight. Ooh, close call. 3-2. See if he gets the walk. Wow. Jose 43 was up 3-0 and then ended up flying out. That is tough. Yep. Same, same exact uh, fly out that he had at his last at-bat of Game 6, actually. That's funny to see. It was mm -hmm. that exact same place. Tallywhack up next. Freddy uh, finding the zone a little better here. Ooh, big swing and a miss. One, two count. Two, yeah, two count. Missing. So regardless of who wins here, it is that team's first time in the championship, yes? For sure. Great. And then uh, uh, the Knights are the other team, so regardless of the outcome, one new team will win a championship, which is... <laughs> good in the uh, Big Head Cleveland Steamers League that we play in. Boy, you're not kidding. <laughs> I, uh, nothing against the Empire, um, but, you know, it's cool to not see them in the Steamers every championship. Yeah, if it was if it was New York, <laughs> Cleveland again, we would, um, I think everybody would just riot. Yeah, it would, it would genuinely hurt interest in the league. Like, yeah, repeats would. there, yeah. Uh, speaking of, that was a clean hit there with two outs. Mm -hmm. This bear hat man is up. Now... Kind of a, a double whammy here, though, because... Yeah, now you have your best... Yeah, now you have your uh, best batter in bear hat man. Was not wait, able to convert there. So that's now, wait a, a second, in. though. Yeah. What is, um... You said Atlanta would be their first appearance. I think, well, for sure, if as Atlanta, it would be their first appearance, but... They were the crickets before this, and weren't they the were they? mad pandas before that? <laughs> I do not know any of these teams. <laughs> okay. I joined two seasons ago, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I'm, I'm I joined a... like five. I joined like in season two. No, and everyone I'm... assumes I'm an old timer because I cast a lot, but I actually yeah. do not know a lot about this league. Um, Atlanta used to bad. be the Marauders. Oh, that's right. I, yes, I was there. My first season was when they rebranded. I actually did not like the rebrand. Um, because I thought Mariders worked better as a pirate. <laughs> like, it'd be like a really funny joke, as that's going to be pop out for out number one. And they were the Lubbock Crickets. Okay, so they were the Crickets, but they were also the Marauders. Okay, so the Mad Pandas were somebody yeah, else. Okay, so that makes sense. Didn't the Crickets lose the World Series, like, year one? So I think it was the Mad Pandas that lost the World, the, the Bartolo year one, I think. If that was called a strike? Hold on. But I could be totally wrong. 
That was the most bonkers, because they called an obvious strike a ball, and then an obvious ball a strike. What? All right, doing? thanks, Burns. Pandas are now the Knights. That's what it is. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Jack Schwerbaum's up next. Ripper's got a runner on first, but two quick outs, and that steal attempt is going to be very successful. Does he actually yeah, He picked a control? good pitch to steal on that. Yeah, RBI man versus K. And, oh, that one's going deep. Does Schwerbaum's do it? No, it's caught. Great fielding by Strawberry. I thought there was a chance for a homer right there, but instead we have one hit apiece tied 0-0 zero, zero through the first. And has never made it to the series. Okay, so it was the Crickets. You were right. It was the Turkeys versus, or excuse me, the Steamers versus the Crickets. You even big head, bro? Come on. Seriously. <laughs> Can't believe they're allowing anyone in the booth these days. <laughs> That's a foul ball. Deacon Nickens up to bat, and Deacon Nickens going to start this game hot. Although, uh, <laughs> as last game caught us, getting on base apparently just doesn't matter at all. <laughs> so, Kevin Anthony up to bat. He's going to get specialist. Which is, in my opinion, the best perk in this game. Oh, it's got to be. Dude, and as a batter, and as a batter, it's like, if enough pitchers get specialists, like you almost want to look into switch hitter earlier. Yes, yeah. It's just, it becomes more valuable, but. I have not liked the umps for any game this series. They do not feel consistent. So that is a clean double play ball, and they're going to turn it. They do. Like I nice said, play. just getting on base doesn't matter. <laughs> Rippers baseball, baby. <laughs> it's Freddie Helium. It's allowed two hits. Daryl Strawberry is going to get a hit there. Wow, what a perfectly placed blooper. It's out. Still in two outs. Uh, Pina up next. This has been, I mean, both teams honestly haven't had that bad of bats. The Rippers, or the Rough Riders have almost gone through their entire there order here. Throw them oh, down. Gets them. Wow. And Who's that? Is... Dog? Rick Dog? Yeah, yeah, Rick Dog made that throw. That was very good what a for throw. Him rookie catcher and now if you're the rippers you thankfully have pino leading off next inning so you have like a good chance to get a clean inning as that one is oh just close bear hat man once again an incredible fielder and batter dutch armstrong looking great today has allowed one hit and a lot of almost hits but almost hits don't really count oh what a play yeah, nice sliding dive there. Out number two. What's uh, what's the quote? Close only matters in horseshoes and hand grenades. Yep, that's. I There's think been that's a lot of close in the series. <laughs> and is that going to go foul? Oh, nice attempt, but it does. And Rosario does get the second hit of this game, but it's with two outs, so I doubt the Rippers will be able to capitalize here. Rink Dog up next. Honestly, if you're the Rippers, I think you're just happy that you got your weakest batter up here. As Rosario. Another steal attempt. Oh! Um, wow, never mind. It doesn't matter because you Back to back score. inning ending gun downs. Yeah, both were in the uh, eighth. Both left the eighth up to bat, by the way. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did. That's very funny. <laughs> So Pina, poor guy, is up against Specialist here. <laughs> Quite a welcome to the league moment as he's going to ground out for out number one. Dutch Armstrong up. They're not going to pull up yet. They do. They're absolutely crazy. Yeah, that'd be foolish. <laughs> yeah. I mean, both of these pitchers are good enough to take you at least to the sixth. So, Except that one game where Freddie came up like five runs in two innings. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> oh, big swing and a miss. Though it's funny because you know that's exactly what's about to happen to Freddie. When yeah, he don't, don't speak too soon or you'll regret yeah. it. <laughs> uh, strike out there. Freddie is 1K from getting locked in. He's at 43 pitches. Both teams have been batting surprisingly better than the scoreboard would indicate thus far but and Ooh, there's a nice strike strikeout swinging wow i think the umps really need to eject players for doing horrible things with those bats 
there is a degree of unsportsmanship in this league that needs addressed immediately. Oh, yeah. When it comes to striking out and the amount of bats broken and and <laughs> bats uh, thrown, yeah. Yep. And there's the and, reason you didn't really want William to steal there, because now you mm -hmm. Freddie up, and he's probably going to be out number two. So you're going to one again with Likely. two outs already. Yeah. Unless he pulls off something miraculous here, which is doubtful, especially with Cape Man active. Maybe a bit excessive to hit a pitcher with a 102 mile per hour fastball, but <laughs> whatever gets you there. Sure. Yeah. Now uh, Armstrong gets his first K of the game, two outs with Charlie up. Shouldn't have taken that one instead, fouls it off. Cape Man active. Oh! Sneaks it in there. Oh, what a. Oh, he's going for, for two. two. No way. Oh! Wow, in there. That was great base running there. That guy just got the. What's the stat in the show? BR aggressiveness. <laughs> that, that was wheels, nice. Wheels up. Oh, that's not going to do it, though. Out number three. That was actually, you know, if that had gone a little higher, that would have been an easy up. Uh, 1-0 lead for the Rippers, but mm -hmm. still tied 0-0. Three hits apiece for both teams. This game is terrifyingly symmetrical thus far. Boy, you're not kidding. Yep. As the... Yeah, both both teams will be starting with their second hitter. Uh, Freddy down 3-0. Nice pitch there, but still expecting the walk. Gets it up. Runner on first, no outs. Good chance for uh, the... Pretty good two, three, four. And the Rough Riders. Going for it again. Get again? Yeah, they're gonna get him again. Wow. Rick Dog throws out two. Down three one though. Might give up another walk. Yep. Freddie having trouble with the uh find the zone this inning. With Bear Hat Man, who's 0 for 1 up next. The Wait. play is an effect, but. <laughs> Rough Riders <laughs> extremely aggressive on the base pads. Oh, they're stealing again. Oh, my god. And goodness. they're out again. Well, this is ridiculous. I've never. Yeah, this is getting pretty bad. And there's another walk. <laughs> I wonder how this at bat is going to end. <laughs> With Deacon Nickens up next. Uh, I know. If they try talk, to steal though, again. Yeah, it would be crazy. Uh, more serious talk, though. Freddie absolutely needs to find the zone. Like three yeah, walks. Yeah, he does. He bad. does. It, I mean, if it wasn't for his catcher behind, well, and the poor base running. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're going again. And he's out again. You're joking. That's unbelievable. You are joking he, me. He threw out all three. All three. Rink Dog that threw out inning, all three of them. That inning was that a inning, walk and then a thrown out steal attempt. That was that was unbelievable. <laughs> I've never seen that. I've never oh, seen that in real life. Seven. I've never seen that at the kid level. <laughs> they tried to steal three times the Dallas Rough Riders, and they got thrown out all three times. Freddie Helium made no outs. <laughs> I think I think Rink Dog just increased a war point by that inning alone. If, if, <laughs> Dixon if the, is up next. That oh that was goodness. that was unbelievable. That was crazy. <clears throat> and a quick one, two, three out inning for the Rippers here. I, I just I'm floored. That that whole half <laughs> inning is gone now, and I'm still talking about the half <laughs> inning before that. <laughs> Someone's gonna, someone in the future is gonna look at this stat sheet and be like, wow, this was a great defensive battle. It wasn't. It was not a great defensive battle. As that was oh my gosh. <laughs> you can I make just. It. Looking to get hit too. Ring Dogs got four throw em outs, three of which <laughs> came in the same inning. I just. I... If they get to playoffs or into the finals, that will be. One of the most legendary moments in Oh, I, yeah, I've like... never, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, I, I need to calm down. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're good. That was worth getting excited for. And uh, sure. he takes that one looking. Daryl Strawberry Lord up next. Lord have mercy. 
Uh, Freddy is locked in, which is good, because he's really starting to get fatigued here. Especially after those three walks. If Ring Dog isn't on fire the next time I see him at bat, <laughs> I'm going to die. Is that foul? Yep. Yeah. I was going to be real pissed if they rolled that fair. Oh, nice hit. That's going to be a save. Oh, he's going to get on first. I wonder what they're going to do. <laughs> Please do not try this duel oh, attempt. Oh, All right. Peanut up next. So, uh, Freddy, I really think they should pull him soon, but he does have the benefit of... Yep. Peanut going to ground out there. All right. Rough Riders have not scored a single run through four hits and three walks. Eddie Rodriguez up next. Good walk-up music. <laughs> Who am again, Rink Dog? <laughs> <laughs> Dutch is having a much better appearance, by the way. He is only at 41 pitches. I would agree. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, I mean, he's, he's looking just great. not getting fatigued yet. Big strike out there. I think you might get on fire. Um, I think that was a sneeze. Bless you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, Rosario is one for one. Uh, had that real hard hit left field single. Going against the locked in Armstrong. Came in active. Ooh. Yeah, that was a stone for Just the play. Oh. How do you take the pitch before that? And no, that's no. like, oh my goodness, he's locked in. Joey Phillips, <laughs> what did you miss? You missed in the, I think it was the top of the third. What you missed was uh, Rick Dog, the catcher for the Atlanta Rippers, threw out three base runners in one inning. That's what you missed. <laughs> and he's about to get a walk of 3-1. Oh, bad take there. K-Man active. <laughs> takes that one looking. <laughs> it's another strikeout. Gee, many Christmas. Was that the top of the third? Maybe it was the top of the fourth. I don't remember. I think uh -huh, it was the third, I'm not though. sure. Actually, we can't buy a walk. No, you have to uh, actually have vision for that, which Rippers do not have, apparently. Freddie Helium is locked in. I would really pull him now, honestly. 2 1 count. I would say right now, this game looks much more advantageous for the Rough Riders, but uh, we'll see. Oh, big strike out there. Leads the case to the ump, but the ump will not hear it. Was it 43? The Rough Riders two. for sure look like the stronger team right now, despite yes. their poor base running. Yeah. But I, I agree. I mean, even with 0-0. Zero, zero. It's so funny that they could have had bases loaded, no outs, you know? Oh, I know. Bases yeah. loaded, no outs. As Instead, it didn't even really look yeah, nothing at all. And then it became a defensive masterpiece. As Jose Forty Three is going to get a hit here. Alleywack up next. Zero for one. They do pull Helium, which is good. Uh, Helium was flat out not playing those batters well, but maybe Iqbal either. As he gives up a quick single. Runners on first and second, one out. Double play in effect, but Snowball's a great batter. He has a single and a walk, and he uh, raked last game too. Yeah, he did. He did well. Double play here would be devastating, but a hit would also be the same. 2-1 count. 3-1. We might get a bases loaded walk here. Ooh, 3-2. And, yeah, Ooh. that base is juiced. Double play in effect, but uh, Bear Hat Man is tense. Wow. It's because he got thrown out trying to steal. <laughs> That's funny to see. Is it gonna walk him? I think it's gonna walk Bear Hat Man with the bases loaded. Oh no. Okay, two one count. Fouls that one off. I am quaking right now, to be entirely honest with you. Oh, it got by him. I Who's can't believe it. Baseman? Um, I'm blanking shoot. on the name. I don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> A ripper in chat tell Feel me bad. who our first is that Easton? Hey Easton, are you in chat right now? That's you Easton dumb, West. You dumb I can't believe son it. of a bitch, Easton. <laughs> How do you not die for that? Uh, let's see. I mean, this could be two. Home. He's gonna get there. Yeah. So the Rough Riders take a two-zero lead. I'm an Anthony Tense. You know, I I feel like the Rippers are really throwing this one away. Uh, you had a pretty 
clear advantage with everyone being tense, and uh, it can Freddy have just not pitched well at all. Um, oh, okay, it takes that strike out, but the yeah. damage has really been done. Two runs that inning. I mean, yeah, Dallas got the exactly what they this need. Game is going, I honestly can't say for certain that I think the Rippers will score at all. Because they're already going to pull out their pitcher. <laughs> I feel like was tense. So I mean, good call. Armstrong is locked in. Uh, he will need another inning or two before he really starts to get fatigued. Unless this one's a really Seven, eight, nine. One. You still have uh, Atlanta still has four of their half of their innings. So. Yes. Yeah. There's plenty of time. Three, two count here. Composed and K man. Dear Lord. And big swing and a miss there. Woo! 101. Uh, Anybody'd you know, swing and miss uh, at that. If you wanted to strike out there, you could have just left Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> wow, quick swing there. Down 0 2 or 0 1. No Dutch down. Armstrong. Five and a third, five strikeouts. He's crazy. I mean, this no was earned no runs. One, but this is really a premier performance. There's another K, number six. Two runs and big head is like 0.5 in real baseball. Yeah, but not in this series. I mean, <laughs> all one, so one one count here. And wow. Someone dial up the Pope because there has been a miracle. The Atlanta Rippers have gotten a hit. Uh, <laughs> East and West is up to bat. Dutch Armstrong is still locked in, but at least he's showing fatigue now. Starting to lose velocity, so no more 103 mile per hour fastballs to the pitcher. Grief. I know. He's That's down 3 0, composed active. 3 1. Good time to swing if you're Easton. Oh, gets the walk. All right, well, runners on first and second. Still two outs, though. I mean, I don't think you have great odds here, even with Schwarbaum's on. But a hit would tie this one. Strike one, Dutch Armstrong. Mm -hmm. He's been clutch all year. And... Oh, it stays fair. Oh, just and a, a nice throw. Wow. From Jose Maxi 43. For his first at bat of, or his first pitching appearance of the entire series. That is crazy to say. Wow, the Rippers really had a chance there. If that one was just a bit slower, it would have bases loaded. But you know, you gotta you gotta get the guys on base before you have two outs. I For mean, sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they 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 were doing it right, but came up short. <sighs> Knocks you down three one. What is with Rippers control this game? Just cannot find the strike zone. Is that's going to be a deep single? Wow. You could not have hit a deeper single, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, Pina up next, so they do have the 8 and the 9 coming up. Double play in effect. Because my screen jumped there, that was the fastest fastball ever. Another foul, down 0-2. Noxie looking for the strikeout of the double play. Oh, that's a perfect strikeout ball. Puts it just deep enough that he'll swing. Yep. Now Armstrong in. Uh, so see they pull him now. Although I think he's... Uh, we'll see how he does in the bottom of the seventh. You know, he's starting to show fatigue. Yeah. I Leave leave him in. I... <laughs> you know, I, it's, it's funny because in this engine, the most dangerous part of the game for the offense is when the starting pitcher is in but starting to get fatigued and the AI has to make the decision of when they want to pull them. Mm -hmm. For now, I mean, you know, he has two great perks and he's locked in, but once you start getting, if they get like two people on, that's when it really starts getting dangerous. As Yomana has a 1-1 count. She's very talented at baseball. Big swing and a miss on the ball there. K-Man active. Oh. Stone Cold take. Now came out and composed. Man, that's some bullshit. And oh, change him. Pulled that one to strike. Or did he swing at it? No, it's it a, it a strikeout looking. Interesting. Penny Rodriguez up next. He is the six hole hitter. Pretty sure that's a golf term, not a baseball one. That's okay. Fouls that one off. One two count. K man active. Ball two. Two two. 3-2 on a generous call. And gets the walk. 
All right, so that's one out. Runner on Lillian Rosario up. This is what I was talking about. This is when it starts to get dangerous. Armstrong's very fatigued. And that's a perfect double play ball and it won't matter. Wow, that was horrendous. That was quick. Yep. All right, top of the eighth. The Rippers have two more innings to score two runs to tie or else they will be watching the Bartolo series from the couch. Let's say 43 up next. Rippers, no riders looking to put up uh, the insurance runs here. One one go. Ball two. <clears throat> that was that one off. That's gonna be a ground out for Jose 43. Ooh, real close play actually, closer than I thought. Probably whack up next. I'm gonna mute while I cough very aggressively. <laughs> I do that all the time. Okay, coughing done. That's gonna be another ground out. I came back just in time. <laughs> well done. Yeah, snowball up next. He has two walks and a single, but also uh, caught stealing. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Someone should clip that and pin that to like general. That was. Oh, for sure. <laughs> that was that was the most big head version of Shacked and a fool I think we'll ever see. It's a ground out. Rippers have two more innings. They're keeping Armstrong in, I believe. Uh, Rippers have the bad part of their order and then the good part, and that's it, really. And Rick Hey, Dawn. there you go. Yeah, gonna start with a quick hit. All right, that is exactly what you needed. <laughs> One pitch liner in the left. They're gonna pull Knox, right? Yeah, they're gonna put in Clay Gamble, who is incredibly talented for a pinch hitter, actually. Plus is very high. And Oh my oh, gosh. That's gonna be another single. Wow. Okay. Dutch Armstrong giving up <clears throat> two back to back to the bottom half. Now bubble comes up. One, two, three's up. This is what I'm talking about. The the worst part of the game. The pitchers and, and that one blooper. is going to be a single. Are they gonna send a runner home? No, base is loaded. And Meadles wheels has <laughs> max pressure. Three hits on three pitches? Yes. I feel like it has. And they're Unless keeping I just Armstrong one. in, too. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. That is... I don't think they're going to send the runner. We'll see. Tag? Okay. They're they do not. not. That also, in more important news, means a double play from West here ends the inning. True. That out. And that would, boy, that would be a disastrous outcome with base. But a loaded. hit. Yeah, I mean, that gives you at least a 2-1 count. And a deep fly, at least. Is he going? All He's right, going. There's the, the play at the play. Oh, it's not going to be in time. Well safe. So Rippers cut this within one, but a Schwarbaum's hit here as they finally pull Armstrong. Lukington in. Max pressure versus RBI man hitter. And one hit here could totally change this game. Loopington looking mm -hmm. to keep the shutout. Honestly, might walk him here. Ooh, also pitch there. 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two, two. Loopington cutting back into it. And how's that one off? That Just was close. It. Another foul. Staying this alive. This is a game deciding at bat. <laughs> a season deciding at bat. Strike or hit it already. And, he's and it's going to get it. through. That's going to make it a tie game. Let's see if the throw's there in time. And it is not. The two, Rangers two. Tied this one. Oh, my God. I was shaking. Oh, yeah. Two to two oh, is your score. Man. The ball game is tied. And the inning's not over, ladies and gentlemen. Dixon Yamada has a chance to take the lead for Atlanta now. Off attempt. Wow, that was actually really close. Dixon Yoletta down 1 2, though. Oh, Stone Cold take 2 2. He is tense. And that is going to end this disaster of an inning. However, it is a tied game 2 2. Yeah, that was a rough inning for Dallas. It was, yeah. They, they um, gave up hit, hit, hit to the 8, 9, and 1 batters. Yes, yeah. 
and uh, can certainly still lose this though i mean bear hats up well, they have now that four five six now this that the score the is tied fight. both teams can win or lose this yes lose just as easily man and if there's a series to go to extra innings <laughs> this would this, be the one though, bear hat does his job gets the walk well bear hat's job is to hit a home run every at bat but he'll consider that acceptable <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nickens is up. He has a chance to uh, do that. He's going to foul that off. 1-1. One, one. K-Man active. You know, the... Um, I would say Ooh. still, I guess, slight advantage to Dallas because they have not used as many relief pitchers. 3-2. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that oh one's that's going. big. As Nickens taking the lead, it's at the wall, and... Oh, off the just wall. Off. They're still going to take the lead, though. Oh, yeah. Bearhat's going to drive in 3-2. Devin Anthony is tense. That does mean that the Rippers would need to score in the bottom of the ninth to win this one. And I don't, I don't think the Rough Riders are done yet. Well, the but score the pitch to at least do tie it. it. Yeah. Yep. K-Man active. Dude, with K-Man, too, he was up, what, 1-2? And that's going to be another man. I think that might drive in the that's, run. That, yeah, that, that might score a still. second. Wow. All right, will he do it? Currently, the answer is no. He is Dallas. a really tough top of the ninth. Dallas taking a commanding lead with two fly balls and a right. Yep. And he do it stents now, so I think he's going to walk this guy and then get pulled. Man, that's a heartbreaker. And I know because my heart has been broken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tina's up. He's tense too. 0 oh for 3. That's rough. <laughs> that's the this first is, out of the inning. This that Ouch. bad is the story of two batters that have had very bad games. <laughs> or two oh, yeah. players, rather. <laughs> but 2-0. Uh, oh. Wow, he crushed that one. 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two. Oh, big swing and a miss. Something, something in Atlanta sports franchises. Yeah, but we technically play in Japan, so I don't really know if that curse still applies. Bloopington is up. All eyes are going to be on him, regardless of the outcome of this at bat, because he has quite a great chance to send the Rough Riders to the World yeah. Series. Wow, that was actually a very good at bat for a pitcher. Yeah, Bloopington's <laughs> gonna get the opportunity to pitch for the win here. Yep. And um, they're tied by two, so it would, especially with your six, seven, eight upcoming, this would be uh -huh. quite a miraculous outcome here. Ball one. One one. Last chance for the Rippers. One two. Three outs. Separate, well, make it two now. Two outs separate the Atlanta Rippers and a couch. Lilian Rosero is tense. I really think it's going to end up all here, much as it sucks to say. You got your eight and nine up, and your one, seven two. is tense. Oh, one two count. Oh, what a hit. Contact. That just fell. Yep. Bloopington starting to get fatigued. Nice take, two two. Another foul. This has been a six pitch at bat. And Rosario is going to ground out there. So one out with Ring Dog. <laughs> ring Dog. Oh, Ring Dog. <laughs> I, I hate, I'd hate to see the season go out like this. And it looks like it's going to. Wow. Congratulations to the Rough Riders. They really. They kept it in close. Um, oh, they absolutely did. Yeah, real, real shout out to them for beating the Jokers and then bringing it all the way to seven. What a great game! That game was awesome. That yeah, had, it was good. Had it was very drama. Good. It had poor pace running. <laughs> it had uh, amazing. Uh, I don't know behind the plate work from uh, Ink Dog. <laughs> Lord have mercy, and then. The Rippers tied in the bottom of the eighth, big time. Oh, man. Go ahead, runs in the top of the ninth. 
for the we'll Dallas Tough Riders. Congratulations, Dallas. You're going to the championship, the Bartolo series against the Miami Knights. It's going to be a good one. Two newcomers in the championship this year. What do we got? <laughs> Errol Strawberry, three for four. Yep. Two for three with two RBIs. Deacon Nickens might be your player of the game there. Other than uh, Dutch Armstrong, of course. <laughs> he just lights out that whole game. And um, I am Snowball, one for two with two walks. Oh, no, you're you're fine. <laughs> My goodness. Dutch Armstrong, seven and two-thirds, seven strikeouts, only giving up two walks and two earned runs. He gave up a lot of hits, but none of that matters. Yep. He's, the reliever, Lip Bloopington, is the pitcher of record for the win. And the Dallas Rough Riders move to the finals. Take it away. <laughs> Don't have much to say. Um, <laughs> I guess uh, while I have this mic, um, I would like to say a sincere thank you to the Rippers organization uh, who have provided me uh, one of the most fun seasons I have ever had in a sim league. Uh, as Dutch Armstrong does get first place, Deacon second, and Freddy third. Uh, congrats to Freddy, who is a fantastic guy and a fantastic GM. And uh, I know he's going to be real upset about this one, but man, I just I think the world of you guys over in Atlanta, and I, I think of the world of the Rippers and the Rough Riders too. Uh, there's a lot of great people in both of these orgs, and uh, sad that one of them had to lose and that one of them had to be me, you know, but. <laughs> <laughs> Big congratulations to both teams tonight for a fantastic season. And, you know, it's it's a shame in Rip City as to how this all turned out. But, uh, you know, love you guys forever. So. Yeah, well said. Yep. I would even I would even like to extend it a little further and just say it's been a great it's been a great season for the whole league. And I've uh, yep. I've enjoyed every minute of uh, the season watching <laughs> watching everybody when I could. I kind of had to come and go this season, fortunately, but uh, when I was tuning in, it was uh, very enjoyable the whole time. So, uh, congrats on the winners. Uh, condolences to Atlanta. <laughs> and um, But they will be back next season, I have no doubts. So, thanks for tuning in. That was Game 7. Your Rough Riders will be advancing to the finals. 4-3 to three is your series final. 4-2 to two is your score in Game 7. Thanks for tuning in. And um, I guess uh, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, signing off or whatever the more professional people like to say. <laughs> see you all later. Thanks all for tuning in.